sometimes the kids always leave things in here that I don't even know. I don't know. I left my pencil in my desk to do my homework or something because they still have um, the after school program here. And I know sometimes, you know, kids do come back to the room and get like things. I, I left my homework binder. I left my pencil or I left my notebook or something. <music> Today is Monday, March 18th. Today is a teacher work day for us, so the students are not here and the teachers are here working. So I'm just going to try and um, just spruce up the classroom, just kind of um, some things have fell down like that. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and go around and um, just hot glue, reinforce some things. And of course, I am... Um, working on next, this week's lesson plan. Um, of course, we're doing something with March Madness, so we're going to work on that as a team. And of course, we have meetings throughout the day, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be here doing. Um, yeah. So we're doing like a March math Madness, and I need to put together this basketball ball. Interesting. So yeah. second grade we're doing like a march madness but we're calling it math madness where we're covering certain standards um that are difficult to them just to make sure that they master it so we kind of decorated the rooms and the hallways um with basketballs and stuff um and we're going to like the the where we have two standards against each other the one once they take the assessment um that standard that they all scored the high highest on they'll move it to the next realm so um i just spent almost two hours putting in a basketball goal let me show you guys what we have decorated so this is pretty much my room i just have basketball uh sporadically throughout the classroom Second grade is split up on two different hallways. We have six second grade classes. So I'm going to show you the other hallway. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, um, March 19th. I forgot to bring my personal laptop. I was gonna upload that video. Um, I had, I mean, it was uploading at home, but it was, it was taking forever. Um, I have this goal. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where to put it until we, until we need it. What we're doing is we're doing this March Madness, but we have renamed it Math Madness, um, as I was saying yesterday. So it's pretty much like, um, a whole day of math, um, our math block is really short due to we have leap year fellows to come help us out with reading. So our reading block is really long and our math block is kind of short. Um, but if I haven't explained to you before, the leap year teachers are high school kids who are taking like a gap year for college. And so they are coming to us, helping us um, all of our second grade um, team with reading um, in order to earn credits um, or in, earn to, in order to earn money for a scholarship. I'm sorry, not to earn credits, but to earn money um, to get a scholarship to attend college. So our reading block, it, it, it extends the 90 minutes that we usually um, half for it. So in terms of the reading block uh, extending, then of course we have lunch and recess. So that means our math block is kind of cut, cut short. So now 
what we're doing is like a March Madness theme. Um, and we're having, and it's actually going to extend over until April. So it's kind of like March Madness spilling over into April showers bring May flowers. <laughs> no, but it's going to be like one day a week, which we chose Thursday, where we're doing math all day. So we're having like math centers, math games, just different um, interactive things for them for math. Um, and we have the brackets outside, which I showed you. We're going to be working on those standards. Like I said, those are some of the toughest standards. Um, and so... We're going to be working on those standards um, in that day that we have, um, and we're going to do assessment, and whichever those two standards that are against each other, whichever one um, scores, you know, that standard score is the highest, we're going to move it on over, um, but I'm sure they will all do well, because we're doing like a whole day of math. <laughs> but um, we're still doing math, though, at our normal time every day. Um, so... That's what we're doing. We're also incorporating literacy into it. We're incorporating reading. So um, I chose uh, about eight books that um, has something to do with basketball. Um, and so we're going to read two of those books a day to them. And of course, they're gonna vote on their favorite book. And whichever one was their favorite book, of course, we're gonna move it over. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. The reason why we have the basketball each one of our second grade classes have a basketball goal. And the reason why we have the basketball goal is so when we do our uh, day of math on Thursday, um, if they get something right or um, if their team gets something right, however they're going to do it in their classroom. I know, in, I know in my classroom, if they do well on the assessment, I'm going to let them shoot the basket. I'm also having teams in here. Um, before they do the assessment, we're going to have groups and they're going to play games and whichever a uh, group get the answer right or get it correct they're gonna um shoot the basketball so i have more boys than girls in here and very all of them are pretty much athletic i, I mean i think i have like 12 boys and probably about 10 of them play some kind of sports no lie football or basketball um so they're gonna love this i just need to figure out where to put it um, I think I'm going to put it over there in the corner because I don't want them playing on it when we're not using it. Um, so that's what's going on. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was teacher work day for us. So the kids are coming back today. Uh, our spring break. Um, we have a whole, we have the rest of this week and all of next week. Our spring break is the first week of April. So I see some of you guys going to spring break, have fun. Um, we're talking about prefixes, um, this week. That's for ELA. We're still doing good in services. We're getting into that. Um, I let them do a PowerPoint. They created a business, um, of something that they sell or either a service that they provide. And, um, they created a PowerPoint. So they worked on that the past two days, Thursday and Friday. So, um, they're going to present them today. All right, so today is Wednesday, March 20th. Um, tomorrow we're going to start on March Madness, um, pretty much like a day of math. So I am setting up um, like the half, I'm doing like a half court. So I'm going to set up the half court. Um, so check it out. But, I mean, you can tell. It's the resemblance of one. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, like, whenever I do, like, a small transformation or something fun, I'm kind of scared to set stuff up because I feel like somebody is going to come in here and mess it up or something. I don't know. Sometimes the kids always leave things in here that I don't even know. I don't know. I left my pencil in my desk to do my homework or something because they still have um 
the after school program here. And I know sometimes, you know, kids do come back to the room and get like things. I, I left my homework binder, I left my pencil, or I left my notebook or something. And I'm just really scared that somebody might mess it up, which I know no one's gonna mess it up. I just kind of have that in the pit of my stomach. But anywho, I'm just glad that's done and over with. I'm so excited. Good morning. Um, Today is what? Thursday, March 21st. And today is the day that the first day that we're going to start our March Madness. Um, where we are doing uh, like math all day. Um, we're doing MD um, 1 through 5, which is the measurement um, like with lengths and meters, yards, meters etc so we're doing that and what i'm doing is um they have a packet um uh, that they already do for morning work so they're going to do a couple pages out of that um, this morning that's based on <clears throat> measurement that packet and um i have a whole bunch of different centers that i will show you when i set them up um for measurement um we have already went over the measurement standard so i'm not going to spend too much time um reteaching it um but i have 12 different stations i have 23 kids in here i'm going to pair them up two and at each station um for about 15 minutes let them rotate we're going to come together as a class to see what they got wrong what was difficult what they didn't understand about it um and also we're going to read a book i think it's long shot we're going to read that book today um <clears throat> and ask them some questions on that book and um what else we're gonna do a kahoot um with um measurement and um a um nearpod assignment with measurement so today is pretty much a measurement type of day so i'm super excited to have on my referee shirt and of course the basketball is still up back there so basketball goes so i got my basketballs back there so when i get everything together i'll pretty much go into more details and show you guys we are doing our game day with math madness i don't see that so we have i have about 12 different sessions set up around the classroom so let me show you what they are working on. 